Hey, welcome to this Windows channel, either on Dailymotion or through the YouTube channel. So this is my look, review and observations of the latest build of Windows 10. It's built 14.291, as you see here in the bottom right for my PC, the watermark is Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview and it's evaluation copy build 14.291 RS1 release. So this is of course another build of the Redstone update that will come in June. This one has a few features that are interesting. Um, first of all, install went really well, was faster than the previous builds that I had uh, installed basically. No errors, no crashes, nothing. I've been using it for more than two hours and a half doing diverse things and uh, going through the web and loading apps and it seems to be pretty stable from what I see but I do find there's some kind of little sluggishness it seems to not respond all the time perfectly when I ask for something and um, so sometimes I click and it takes like um, really you know like 10-15 seconds then whoop pops up and of course because it took so long you wonder if it accepted so I clicked again and it pops up two times or three times um, so there's there's definitely some slowdown a little bit in this one but no crashes um, what's interesting in this um, preview of Windows 10 well you've got um, an update of the Maps app first of all so when you use the Maps app you now can do multiple searches and have the Maps app tell you for example in the, the, the type of search you do uh, what's the nearest restaurants to the hotel room that you just were searching for where it is so it's really uh, more complete in what it can do for you um, and it's really revamped and they're working hard and basically making the Windows uh, 10 Maps app uh, even better so when Redstone gets uh, to your computer in June you'll basically have a Maps app that is much uh, more interesting than the one that was uh, with Windows 10 from the start. That It's not that it's bad, but it, it does need improvement. And uh, here there's a lot of stuff that's improved and it's basically they're rewriting the app completely. So there's a few things that are interesting here. Uh, they also reworked the Alarm and Clocks app with a new uh, inline time picker so um, if you look at the alarms and clock here let's just go here and open it well uh, you can of course now use different options including uh, manage your alarms uh, you can of course send feedback that was missing from by the way uh, from the app itself you can send feedback and uh, ask you know okay well will this be uh, you know this this I don't like this I would like to to, to try um, so adding the alarm now you can see here that there's sliders and uh, it's different in the way that you can choose it from the alarm clock that it was before uh, so it's pretty cool they, they you know they're, they're upgrading it it's still a little kind of uh, I'd say uh, maybe drab uh, I, I wish they, they had a little more colors and a little more inf things to it to, to make it nice. But it's, it's pretty cool and you have this map here where you see the shading of uh, the earth um, day and night, stuff like that. So it's, it's interesting. They're, they're adding stuff. Uh, the biggest thing to come to this version, Microsoft Edge extensions are finally here. So if you go on a page and you click for example the more dots you see here, here you see extensions and if I click you'll see that I added all three extensions that are available right now because there's only three of them uh, it's long to install if you're playing with the extensions and you click the folder of the extensions uh, and nothing happens be patient my uh, mouse gesture um, extension didn't take a long time to install but the translator and the Reddit enhancement suit really took a lot of time. It took several minutes before they appeared. 
Um, and it, I did have a few errors like, well, cannot load this extension, cannot load this. But finally, they, they all installed. But you got to, you know, think about this. The the edge extensions are in really it, their basic form. You know, it's brand new, so they're not fixed to work the best possible. Also, I suspect that, for example, the Microsoft Translator is really slowing down Microsoft Edge uh, a lot. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll be continuing to observe stuff in here, and I'll probably post a, a second video maybe tomorrow to um, continue talking about, you know, my observations of all of that. But uh, they work, you know, I mean, here I got a page in French, and I've got the Microsoft Translator icon that appeared that says hey I want to translate this page and when you click on it it translates the page to the language that is default uh, or you can you know have it translate in all sorts of uh, manner it takes time it's a little slow and um, not the best but it does work and after a while you get your stuff uh, as you see here, it's doing it slowly. So here's Discover My Press, Connect Me. It's like going through, and it's very slow for now. And it should it should be much better than that eventually. Uh, you know, I, I would like to see something more like uh, the, the Google Chrome Translator, for example, that's almost instantan instantaneous. You know, you just have it happening, and that's it. So, you know, it's sluggish, but it's there, and it's doing a job. It's It's working out. So here it goes. It's all been translated now. The leader of National Front Party, French Right, landed in Montreal Friday. Marine Le Pen announced. So, you know, it's translating not bad, but it's slow. Uh, so be warned, <laughs> very sluggish. Another uh, interesting thing about the... Uh, first, if we look at the extensions, uh, another type of extension that we have. Uh, so here three extensions available. If you want to see them, you go and click the Get Extensions. It brings you to a page on the Microsoft website. That page is where you get the extensions preview. Uh, so basically, you click the Download Extension button, brings you to the page where three extensions are available. Microsoft Translator to translate pages. Reddit en Enhancement Suit. So if you're a Reddit user you go on the page all the time you can actually customize so that it looks more um, like what you want and it kind of you know aggregates all the the interesting stuff for you um, mouse gestures also available and mouse gestures is basically uh, you write you hold the right click button and when you you see that it does these marks so on the page you can actually go back or go forward uh, there's all sorts of things like uh, scroll down scroll up depending on what you want to do so uh, you have to kind of you know um, understand a little bit how they work but you see that you know they work and when you do it right it tells you what it does so here back here close all tabs stuff like that you know it's it's kind of interesting there's a lot of little things a uh, one feature that's now added is when you right click a tab you've got pin tab and you see I've got two tabs that are pinned here on the left, Google and uh, the Space Weather page. So this, what it does is when you shut down your browser, so if I close all tab, and then you want to restart Edge browser, the pinned pages always appear there so you can have access to the pinned pages that you uh, put there, including the ones of uh, of the start page one of the things that it does though is of course slow down your navigation I've never been a big fan of this because it has to load multiple pages so it takes a lot of time for some pages to load because of that but that's a feature that's available in pretty much every browser and wasn't available really in uh, Edge uh, as you see here, one of the things I've noticed is that a lot of the pages have a uh, little problem sometimes in appearing correctly. They're not always centered. Uh, that I didn't have as a problem before, so it seems in probably the way that um, it works. To um, add the extensions, by the way, you have to go to the page. You have to download them. When you download them, you run the extension file that it gave you, and then you have to click Load Extension and you have to click on the folder that was created 
typically for most people if you download it it's in the download folder so basically you click load it extensions here and it brings you to the page my download page in my case and you see here my folders are here so you click and you install the uh, extensions preview that they give you so it's, it's nice to see that extensions are coming uh, for those that are wondering because now there's just three but it's because these are really really in the beginning of everything um, we know that by the end of this year we will have adblock adblock plus amazon lastpass evernote and many more extensions that are coming to the microsoft edge browser so if you're wondering if your favorite app will be there or extension it probably will by the end of this year so it's uh you know pretty interesting to see that there's these new features there uh for sure now about the problems and the things that it might fix also uh if you install this it fixes uh, a few issues like uh, issue causing notification area system tray to look out of alignment when turning on always show all the icons in the uh, notifications area so they've uh, fixed basically this uh, this option of the um, start or notifications area basically and uh, so you see here um, also what is fixed is a f an issue where if you are on an old web encryption and Wi-Fi uh, there were con connectivity problems with the web encryption security method it could be broken uh, I really hope that you don't use that because it's really really unsecure but they did fix that fix an issue where the X to close find of page toolbar in Microsoft Edge is displayed off-screen on 8 inch devices. Um, fix an issue where the USB icon in notification area was reverting to the old icon when ex ejecting drives. Fix an issue where clicking suggests search in Microsoft Edge resulted in a URL to the search as the search string. Uh, there are known issues in this one so there's still uh, an inv investigation on uh, issues on Surface Pro 3, Surface Pro 4, Surface Book that have freeze or hang. These were on the last build also. PC may freeze plugging in an Xbox One or Xbox 360 controller or other gamepad in this build. Uh, Hyper-V and have a virtual switch configured for your network adapter. You may see an error indicator, red colored X. These are all things that were uh, you know, in the last build also. We're seeing reports of some apps such as QQ crashing uh, stuff like that. Uh, Windows Live Mail, Expression Encoder 4 also. Uh, Casper Skin Type Virus is still broken here. So you have to revert to the default uh, Windows Defender for now. Um, also, what uh, has been fixed, or non issue, sorry, um, I, I told you what has been fixed, but what uh, known issues also on this one that were added with you know there was known issues bef that were already there but there's new, new known issues now um, including uh, if you reset your phone in this build and restore your phone from a backup restore will fail to install apps from your backups app, app list so uh, they're gonna leave gray tiles on start uh, stuff like that so there's a few things that won't work like that if you have Microsoft band one or two paired to your phone uh, will no longer sync after updating to this build due to a system API failure what else do we have here there's a few things USB C uh, stability problems and dock and continuum if you are on the mobile build uh, these are mobile build errors by the way um, so you know basically there are some broken stuff there's still some uh, stuff that's been fixed but uh, overall it seems pretty stable for the most part I did see some uh, people in the forums uh, telling that yeah they that, you know my PC freezes with my Xbox controller it is a non issue uh, you know it's funny because people don't read nothing and then they go into the chat or the forums and they're like why is it freezing with my Xbox controller you're an insider go read the problems it is stated it's a problem 
So stop annoying everybody with it. It is a known issue. You know, I, I just can't believe all the nonsense and stupid people in the forums that are leaving comments that should not be there. Just incredible. So try it out if you are in the fast ring. You can uh, download it by going to the Windows Update and checking it out. And like I said, the main probably the main feature right now is the extensions that are available from um, the uh, Windows page. And, you know, we, we expect to have a few more extensions showing up in the next days and weeks. So um, when, when you go for extensions, uh, make sure that you check the page, get extensions page to uh, see what there is available because there are some new stuff that will show up there. And uh, of course, each, each extension has its um, little, you know, uh, tools uh, icon where you can check it out and you can remove them if you want. So uh, why not try it out? Uh, the only one I haven't tried is the Reddit uh, enhancement suit that um, I, I, will, I will try. But mouse gesture seems to work fine. Translator is there, but it's slow as you see. Um, but they'll get improved as time goes by. It's a first start, and now we know that extensions will be part, at least, of uh, Windows Rest Zone um, in June. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, um, anything you want to know, let us know. Of course, um, if you have your own uh, Windows Insider build that you've installed and you have issues or you have comments or, or maybe suggestions or anything, observations that you have, why not share it below this video and see? Uh, we'll see together if it works well or not. And uh, remember, being an insider means that you might have a bug, a problem, a crash. You might need to reinstall Windows. If that's not something you wish to do, don't become an insider. And stop posting stupid comments like, oh, you know, this, this insider preview crashed my machine and I need it for work. Well, if you did that, you're an idiot because you should not install an insider preview on a machine that is for work or school your main machine should never be an insider preview i've dedicated this machine for insider previews so thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoy the videos